Yo, welcome back to more Melty Blood. Uh, last time, well, the first three parts of this were all me playing in the same sitting. Because uh, I had a ton of fun and played for like four hours. Got my first ending. I think Siona's great. I really like her character for her just being introduced here. And yeah, it's just a really unique game. Fighting game, visual novel. Like I already thought so at the beginning, but after going through it, it was like, man, this is way more visual novel than I expected. And the fighting game stuff is actually pretty fun. It makes me actually want to... Get good at this though of course the game is definitely going to change as i progress through all the melty bloods regardless still a ton of fun um hopefully we can get a better ending for sion like her ending that we got wasn't bad i mean because we took care of tatari in this instance because who knows when it'll show up again and she kind of went off like who knows when it'll show up again but she was more assured of herself she uh, was resolved to live you know the Friendship she found in Shiki and even her feelings for him kind of like awakening as well for the first time because she's always been alone. Um, I liked all that, especially just how crazy of a dead apostle Tatari is, right? Just insane. But yeah, I'm just going to jump back into story mode, of course. But before I get back into it, shout out to the comments that y'all left and any support that anyone left, like watching the videos. I really appreciate it, of course. A um, few things I was told because now I can address things because it was a few parts before I could see what people were saying. Um, so React which is like the next part, I guess the like update, like next version of this game that came out, um, whose arcade mode is a continuation of the story in that version. It apparently has voice acting for the story mode here, which, you know, like, yeah, it probably would have been better to start there, but I don't know. I was like, let me start with the original, because why not? Hopefully we'll be able to appreciate that with the arcade mode next time, but apparently it also has like more diversified movesets for characters. So like Yellow Eyes arc we saw last time, rather than just having normal arcs moveset like she does in this game actually has her own unique one so i look forward to seeing that that's pretty cool react also apparently has more characters so that's cool i actually took a look at training mode just because i was curious about and i, I wanted to practice a little bit so i kind of jumped in and um just looked at cheeky's moveset um this is concerning uh so i gotta and this which I remember seeing briefly in the demo, like in like the first part of me playing this, and I was like, what the fuck is that? He's sweet, I didn't question it though. Akia, Raider, Akia, Yellow Eyes Arc. We have like a couple versions of Sion here. Maybe her going Dead Apostle mode. Actually, yeah, the eyes, yeah, the red eyes. Holy fuck, okay. There's Wallachia that we saw last time, so. Koaku, Hisui, then the two of them together, and then bro. <laughs> Miyako Arima, dude. I saw her video that was dropped that um, shows her as being part of um, Type Lumina. But I didn't know she was already in the first one. Like, that's pretty nutty, so. And Nero. Oh my god. I want to try him out so bad. But um, I only practiced a little bit with Shiki and um, Sion. However, that was like a week ago. <laughs> Because I've been waiting to record more, so... Yeah, so that's interesting. I won't question any of that for now. Another thing, apparently there are eight routes in the game. So the screen that I saw with the branching paths, which is the wind and law. So I was like, okay, is that how many ends there are? There are actually eight. But you basically have to clear six to get the last two. So even, like, this game has its own far side. And that's pretty interesting. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And all the differences, of course. Like, like I said, I hope for something better for Sion. And I'm sure there is a much darker side to this VN if I lose... Maybe every fight. I don't know. I might try that first. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to go about this the first way, but maybe winning that fight against Nero will put me on the path to the best end because, yeah, it brought me down. Then I had to go back. And then. So I might just try that first just to see what could have been there. But yeah, I think this is really cool, especially based on the fights. Like, that's super tight. So we'll, of course, be doing all of those routes. Um, last thing is that, yes, we got some atlas information because it was mentioned in fgo but um what happened was in the camelot uh singularity in fgo actually i won't spoil anything but yeah basically what was revealed about atlas you know there in relation to the fgo story which is really fucking cool and that there's even a uh, atlas mystic code in fgo i might even have it i just don't you know it's hard to remember but um the colors are similar it's like different than what sion's wearing but the co apparently the colors are similar and the hat is even like similar as well so but yeah that's it as far as uh comments thank y'all very much for sharing stuff with me and yeah that's it let's see is there a way for me to skip okay i am up to the first fight now um and i'm going to purposely lose it i would 
I was thinking of going up to Nero and trying to beating him, but that might be a whole video in itself because he is really tough. Round one, fight. And some things I realized while editing, so backdashing and forward dashing decreases vital source as well. <laughs> yes, it did take me that long to realize. Get caught up in the heat in a moment. Banger OST for the fights, by the way. Like this one, I really like this one. Sounds very Tsukihime. Bed Training also found this full crouch heavy kick, which seems really good. The range is nutty. Like, look at that shit. Still get grabbed. I can grab back. So I got some of the controls a little bit... A little bit better, but yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. See you, please. <laughs> well, we are already on a different path, so let's pick up from here. Um, I will say, going through um, up until this point, it's cool to see, like, uh, I guess some new context for things we know, like the fact that CEO is dead apostle and all the shit that she's went through, suffering from not, you know, feeding on blood. Um, even Shiki's, like, um, thoughts on things in the very beginning. Pretty cool. S Battle finished. Fourth, sixth, thought process halted. Mm. Results compiled. Your choices in combat are rated at merely 70. Even if you possess the ability to inflict instant death, your tactics are still easily predicted. <laughs> you remember what I said before? Um, when we beat her the first time. All the excuses she made is like when you beat someone at a fighting game. This is like when somebody beats you. That When that same person beats you, this is the shit they say. <laughs> and I think the thought processes she said just halted are the ones that she normally stops. Or that she stopped before whenever she was in town and um, reading even into everybody before she started feeling fucked up. She goes sicko alchemist brain mode. Damn, what do you want? I do not intend to harm you any further. Did you not notice something different? Your intuition was correct. Just as you felt, my method of fighting is entirely different from those you have faced before. <laughs> you must stop resisting. I have no interest in taking your life. I require you in my calculations, so if you do not resist, you will not be hurt. Hey, don't touch people's heads like that. Please calm down. Did I not say I would not harm you? All I did was connect my ether light to your brain. Dude, just straight up, instantly, bops, connects that shit. Not sneakily, so, like, considerately like before. Like, nah, I kick your ass. I need you. Fuck you, ether light in your brain. Huh? C connect to my brain? What the heck? The artificial nervous system called ether light. In terms you can understand, a filament only one micron thick. Think of it as a thread you cannot see using the naked eye. No way, I do feel something strange on my temple, but that... Yes, upon contact with your skin, it seeks out your nerves and fuses with them. Jeez, just telling them everything. The maximum range is 5,000 meters. Okay, so it is a simple matter for it to fill your entire body. No further explanation is needed to understand, correct? I have hacked your mind and body. From now on, I will control your actions. Yo! Oh my god, this is already, like, fucking cool. I love visual novels so much. Like, I really like playing Stay Night, Tsukihime, Kagetsu Toya, even Doki Doki. Like, thi like, this shit, like, the choose your own adventure, just differences of going a completely different decision is the best thing ever. I assume there are no objections, Tonoshiki? No objections? Like, hell there aren't, you idiot. I don't know who you are, but are you crazy? How rude. I am trying to hold a civilized conversation. Tonoshiki, please correct yourself. Correct myself? Are you stupid? First you attack me, now you want to control me? If you're sane, then that makes me the crazy one. Seriously, you're as ridiculously random as Arcuid. No, you're even worse of a random bastard. Bastard. There. Yeah, it's pretty worse. English. R random. You're calling me random? How superficial your knowledge must be for you to proclaim the actions of an alchemist like myself as random. That is the. So far, that is the best sprite in the game. No, to use the term random so senselessly is evidence of that probability. Yes, as you say, I cannot but think that you are the one who has gone crazy. Uh, huh? Correct yourself, I am Sion Eltnam Atlassia, an alchemist of the Atlas Academy where all knowledge is accumulated and stored. What an insult. There's no one who can match my speed of thought and rational knowledge acquisition. Oh my goodness, her pride. 
Do you understand, Tonoshiki? I am not a man, but a woman. In your rough terms, you should not call me a random bastard, but a whore. <laughs> you what the fuck? <laughs> call me a whore, you bitch. What? Let me warn you, is your behavior not unnatural? I've gathered information from the past year from you, and all you have done is proceed from one engagement of low victory probability to another. Fair. It is so amazing, it is enough to almost make one cry how Tonoshiki has been able to survive this long. It can only be a miracle. Whoa. Dude, <laughs> look, at, look at Shiki's sprite. Never mind, that's the best sprite in the game. Look at that. He is just dumbfounded. Flabbergasted. Whoa. Ah. Back to the main topic, Tonoshiki. I will have your cooperation with my research. I respect your right to choose, but please do not consider refusing. Uh, no means no. I now have control of most of your nerves, so if you disobey, I may be forced to hurt you. Uh, well, whoa, uh, what do you mean? Do you not understand? I am saying I will fry your nerves if you, do not, if you do not listen. Oh, you can do that. Makes sense. I have no qualms about sending electricity along this ether light to fry your brain. Such a ridiculous ability, like... Because <laughs> we didn't know that before. It makes sense that she can do that, but... To learn that? Yikes. Wow. Because it's not just control. Like, I can fry your brain. Wow. Stupid. In that case, all I have to do is cut it. I may not be able to see it with the naked eye, but if I take off my glasses... Ooh. He has cut more complex things before. I advise against it. If you cut the ether light, your entire body will burn. The ether light is now part of your nervous system. Oh. Well. Yes, while this may not be effective against the true ancestor, it is quite effective against humans. Before nerve damage ensues, you would probably die from the pain. What? Just now, what did you? I read your thoughts. The ether light is connected to your brain, so no matter what you think, I can read it. Well, I am able to read subjects and verbs, minus the conjunctions, at least. Interesting. We've already learned so much just from this one loss. Ooh, that's amazing. Then this... Uh, why do I always get involved in things like this? Do not misunderstand me. I do not intend to force you. Our goals are the same, so I propose a mutual relationship to achieve our objectives. Work together to achieve our objectives? Yes, our goals overlap somewhat. Otherwise, we would not be negotiating like this. Speak for yourself. You can't call this negotiation. I only chose the method with the best chance of success. So I gotta raise my mic. I'm slouching. Posture check. This was the most suitable method to achieve your cooperation. Well, you must be well rested by now. My method of fighting is to chip away the opponent's fighting strength. It's like the, not like the method of chipping away the opponent's body that you all employ. You got a point. If it wasn't for that strange string, I would have run away by now. I do not mind. Once connected, it cannot be removed except by me. Wherever you go, it will follow. Freaky. Very, <laughs> very fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, what's this about us cooperating? It is as it sounds. Have you changed your mind? You were disparaging me earlier, so for you to listen to me attentively now... All I can do is listen, right? And well, your methods are a little rough, but you have been polite. I guess I can hear you out. You didn't finish me off, and you do seem sincerely interested in talking it over. And well, you don't seem like a bad person. I did not attack you while you were down because you might have used a very strong counterattack. But if you wish to view it that way, it is just as well. Man, she can be stone cold, man. It is meaningless for me to uh, offer another point of view. Then I will be concise. My goal is to discover a cure for vampirism. It is amazing how much more vulnerable she was. Of course, when Shiki beat her and didn't kill her. Like, it really cracked through, like, this um, cold exterior that she puts on. Like, she cuts off, like, she cuts off those thought processes and just goes cold, like, alchemist brain magician, you know? It's pretty cool. My goal is to discover a cure for vampirism. I wish to obtain data from the vampires in this area, such as a member of the True Ancestors, the origin of the dead apostles. Eh, True Ancestor? You mean Arcuid? Yes, she is the last of the True Ancestors. Correction, there may still exist some lower members of the True Ancestors, but what I need is the data of True Ancestor royalty from Arcuid Brunstead. Data from Arcuid? You want to make her into a guinea pig or something? Of course not. You of all people know full well that it's not possible. I seek only the aid of the true ancestor. I wish to examine her blood, body, and fluids to understand more about the vampiric impulse. If possible, I would like a full week, but that may be more difficult than finding a cure. If she does help me, it would only be because you are cooperating with me. Why do you think she would help me if I'm with you? That, that is, because you are the one the true ancestor is the most interested in. 
At any rate, I wish to approach vampirism from a medical standpoint. Consequently, I need data from many vampires. Once bitten by vampires, people become no longer human. Until now, it has been impossible to save them. I challenge that impossibility. It has to be in line with your goals, because you know someone who became a vampire. Mmm, bringing that up again. Very tricky. What is it? Nothing really. You just have a way with words. I am pleased at your correct evaluation, but what makes you say that? Oh, nothing, but the next time you speak so lightly of her, I have no choice but to fight you. Mmm, tell her. Because that is, like, really tricky and manipulative to bring up, like, that. I know she can tap into his thoughts, but it's like, fuck, you know? So I'm glad Shiki said that, like, you know, take it easy. Certainly, I was not considerate enough. What I said was not good. It's fine. If you say your goal is to cure vampirism, then it's alright. It definitely is something I see as very important. Then, you will help me, Tonashiki? Yeah, but I really don't get you. If you knew so much about me, you should have known talking it over from the beginning would have been fine. If you said that was your goal, I would not have refused. So it seems. I was mistaken. I did not have a complete understanding of you. Let me drink some water. However, this may be for the best. Verbal promises are one thing, but if you do not put a high priority on our cooperation, I have means of ensuring you listen to me. As you said. Yeah, yeah, the loser must obey the winner, right? That's fine. But I'm not exactly swimming in free time. I have my own reasons for walking around late at night. Searching for the rumored vampire? I have not said anything about that, but I also have an interest in finding it. You? You know about that vampire? Yes, upon arriving here I heard the rumors. The atmosphere in this town is strange, and I knew something unusual was going on. I see. If an outsider like you thinks that way, then that rumored vampire probably does exist. I cannot say that is absolutely true, but the true ancestor seems to be pursuing it. It is her responsibility to dispose of dead apostles. She could not turn a blind eye towards any in the town she lives in. You even know about Arcuid hiding her whereabouts? You are thinking it now, about how she is evading you because she is worried over you and wants to settle it herself. Yep, makes sense. So if we find the rumored vampire, we should find the true ancestor. At that time, she may listen to me if you ask her to. I see. That's why you want my help. Yes, I wish for you to mediate our negotiations. For the time being, that is your first priority. I see, that's pretty simple, but saying for the time being makes me a little uneasy. But of course, you even said before that the loser has to obey the winner. Before I defeated you, I have the right to use you. Oh, because I defeated you, I have the right to use you. Is that unsatisfactory? Yes, but I'll keep quiet. Since you're looking for the rumored vampire, I won't be doing anything different. I'll help you out until we find Arcuid. Very prudent. After concluding negotiations and business with the true ancestor, I will leave this country. Staying in one place too long is dangerous. As for negotiation, that will be my problem. If negotiations break down, I will remove the ether light. Is that acceptable, Tonoshiki? Wow, alright. Again, yeah, she's not a bad person, but... <laughs> her means are, of course, what they are, but... She at least has that going for her. Not being evil. Yeah, no complaints. But what do you want me to do? Help her to see things your way? No, if I need you to, I will let you know. All you have to do is ask her to listen to me. I see, then lead on, my lady. Oh my god, Shiki. First is investigating in town. I am unfamiliar with the area, so I ask you to direct us. Can we put a fedora on Shiki? Alright, that's better. Oh. <laughs> and to see we go. Oh boy. We are in uncharted waters here. The Alchemist of Atlas, Extra Alchemist. So is this going to be the same as... Is this chapter title different? I can't tell. I guess we're about to find out. Oh. Okay. This is different. We did not get this CG so soon before. We didn't see it till the very end. Wait, no, that's not true. Forget what I'm saying. That is how our patrol began. So you are different from the Magi Senpai was talking about? I'm different from the majority of Magi. There are factions of Magi associations that guide the practice of rituals and the revelation of knowledge. Please think of alchemists as not practicing rituals, but discovering them. Okay, that's a cool way of saying it. Discover, you mean like making new magic? Most types of magic are already identified, but we discover new methods. As the name alchemist implies, we try to create precious metals from base metals, for example. Oh, that makes sense now, like making gold out of lead. Yes, but that refers to the Central Association of Alchemists. I am part of a different organization of alchemists, the Atlas Academy. We have no interest in the transmutation of elements. I see, so there's even different kinds of alchemists. Makes sense. Also, given that 
alchemy and alchemists are, of course, a thing in this world. I imagine making gold is a big no-no as far as, like, completely fucking up the economy of it and whatnot. It's gotta be a bunch of regulations on shit like that. Not kinds, but factions. We are considered somewhat heretics. Among the three main branches of the Magi Associations, Atlas is considered somewhat of a tumor. Wow. Really? Ah, uh, that word again. Is Atlas a place? A place? Yes. There's an association based on an academy located in the Atlas Mountains. The Magi of London call it the Pit. Though it is surrounded only by desert, so it may not be too inaccurate. In the Atlas Mountains. Because I don't think they even said that before. They just said in Egypt. So, man, this is cool. So much new info already. Desert. Then where are you from? It is said to be a land where much magic originates, but simply it is a place with a lot of history. We speak of these mysterious and complicated things as we patrol. She isn't wordy, but she isn't closed mouthed either. In fact, she answers most of my questions and asks me some in turn. She doesn't start any unnecessary conversation, but if it is necessary, she goes really deep in detail. I think this girl just loves to talk. Oh, she doesn't really get to do that with people, I guess, so. Do you have any other questions? Oh, uh, I was just wondering what kind of studying your alchemy involves. Human research. You could say it is more science than alchemy. Human research? You mean not magic or sorcery? Yes, the alchemists of Atlas were originally a gathering with, of those with little magical ability due to having a small number of magic circuits. They decided for themselves to take a completely natural approach and proceed forward as humans to achieve their goals. The result of that is the present Atlas Academy. We use above all else our own intellect to make a blueprint for the future. It's that same phrase from before. To make a blueprint for the future. And yeah, using their mind. It's very cool. So much, so different than straight magic and sacraments and whatnot, you know. Make the future. It goes without saying that the future is not something that occurs, but is something that is made. Hmm. Right. With the ingredients of the present day, we make the future for better or worse. We make the future for better or worse. We analyze these ingredients to measure the future. That's a very cool way of like, yeah, makes sense. We dramatically shift probability to make a perfect model from the ingredients. Magic circuits are paths connecting to the roots called the One. Magi use these to bring their ideal future closer. Did I know that about magic circuits themselves though? Magic circuits are paths connecting to the roots. I guess it would make sense for magic circuits to be connected to it as like kind of the source. There's like mana that's within you and then there's like kind of within the air like it's just part of the world because we saw that like biggest example we've seen of that is like Medea how she uses, uses it like that like closer to like original magic closer to like div from the time of the gods right tough to remember some of these like more fundamental things but yeah. To make an ideal future, that means those of the past, they... They failed. At some point, the alchemists of Atlas stopped predicting the future and devoted themselves to excel at making various things. Another view has, has it that at some point, an academy director constructed a weapon to deny and resist the answer that was discovered. What? <clears throat> what the hell? I want to know about that. But as a student, it is not something that I know of. But what? You mean you all... Now we craft weapons. But a foundation is a fusion of rituals and science. You could say the alchemists of Atlas specialize in those techniques. Weapons. Man, so much more about Atlas. This is so cool. Oh, like that ether light you have? The ether light is a technique handed down in the Eltonum family. The foundation techniques of Atlas are thought acceleration and thought partition. Oh, okay. Alright, after that, acceleration and conversion alchemy is acquired. So many terms. Thought acceleration just means thinking really fast, but thought partition is... So splitting? Or... As the name implies, the alchemists of Atlas are able to partition their thoughts to form multiple thought processes. Ah, so that's what she does when she halts the processes and... Okay. Got it. That's that technique. Think of it this way. Normal people have only one room in their brain, so they can, o can focus on only one thought. Thought partitioning adds partitions inside the one room to create multiple rooms. Alchemists of Atlas must be able to partition their thoughts into three rooms, and five is on the level of genius. Oh, so how many do you do? Wait, she's, she said six, so she has at least six. It is said there was an academy director in the past who was able to achieve eight. 
Wow. Hmm? So it's like having two or three calculators in your head? That is meaningless. There may be multiple thought processes, but only one go. While the multiple thought processes work on differing problem sets, they work together to generate one overall solution. Okay, got it. If it was simply calculation, would not current machines be on the same level? Rather, it is for problem solving, so nothing else even compares. Got it. So it's like, yeah, on the level of human problem solving, but you like multiply the amount of like ways you solve it to achieve the one overall solution. And she has at least six. That's crazy. Wow, then you're incredibly smart. That's right, I remember thinking no matter what I did, you were reading my moves. I already simulated all of your patterns, so it was only logical that you were defeated. Uh, no wonder she was so fucked up when we beat her. Any situation can change within a second. It is like a wire diagram showing all possibilities. From the sea of possibilities, we calculate the most likely outcome of events and act according to that outcome. Consequently, events occur in that same manner. We do not see the future in combat, but are simply one step ahead. Uh, the possibility for defeat still lay everywhere in our previous fight. Okay, so yeah, that's... That's the explanation for that. It wasn't like, I calculated it, so there was no chance. Like, she's saying, like, there is always the chance. She's just constantly has to try to account for it and acknowledges that the possibility was there to lose and correctly choosing a branch of possibility would render everything useless it's even a meta for the choices and winning and losing oh and another thing I forgot to man uh, mention this is kind of off topic but yeah the Tatari was mentioned back in the plus disc of Tsukihime um, that was released obviously not not long at all after um, Tsukihime and it mentioned Tatari back then when uh, Yumi Zuka and Neko Arc were having their whole like talk thing because yeah like the idea of a fighting game to use characters that are dead in the story like to continue the story but to, the story but to use characters that are dead like Tatari is the perfect like yeah dead apostle and character to do that because dead characters can quote unquote come back due to just the way he works so it's really cool. Sorry, I had to bring that up because I thought that was really cool, but yeah. If you acted completely outside of predictive behavior, out of whim like you normally do, it would not have been surprising if I lost, so yeah, there you go. But that is the nature of using thought acceleration and thought partitioning. Wow, that's pretty amazing. It did feel that way. That's Sprite, but with a question mark. That's great. There is no predicted future with victory. The alchemists of Atlas will not fight. Between you and I, you are undoubtedly superior at fighting. Wow. Therefore, I have to use alternative methods to obtain victory. For us, fighting is assembling the proper ingredients ahead of time. However, that only makes us equal. Mm, neither strong physically nor in magic, we predict the future to steer it away from the worst outcome. Got it. Really cool. We invest everything in guiding events towards the single opportunity where the future can be reversed. We fight not the enemy, but our own minds. We can trust only ourselves and wager our lives on a moment of thought. That is the way of the alchemists of Atlas. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow, all this talk of calculation and prediction makes it almost sound like gambling. That is not mistaken. That is very close to what we do. Those who gamble must wager calmly while still being very passionate. I see, that's how it is. Even as much as they can account for in their calculations. Crazy. But, very respectable. Very cool. While we talk, we pass by the most prominent part of town. It's been two hours since we started walking. The whole time, the town was very quiet and we passed by no one. There is none of the frying heat from during the day. The night town is quite cool and suitable for walking. There's no one in the police box. There may be... There may be on... They may be on patrol, but we have not come across them. I can't read. Uh, ah, that's right. Now that you mention it, patrols are meaningless if you do not meet anyone. Well, maybe that is a good thing. A good thing? What do you mean? Well, if someone saw us, we'd make a strange pair. Don't we stand out a lot? Stand out? We do? We? Just strangely like that? If some policeman saw you, he would start to ask questions. Ask questions? She starts to look at her clothes strangely with her head tilted to the side. <laughs> Sightseeing foreigner. I knew it. She really does think that her appearance is normal. Perhaps I look strange? Yeah, you really stand out. Ah, she seems a little dissatisfied. We will deal with that when the time comes. If I am asked questions, I will just have to lie. Okay, so if asked, I'll say you are my friend. So make sure you match that story. 
Wow, yeah, that's a big deal for her. Holy shit. We seem to have made our way back. Our feet have returned us to the tall skyscraper. And... Shiki. Behind me, she suddenly calls my name. Eh? Um, please call me Sion. If we are friends, we must match the way we call each other. She is so precious, man. She Sion says that and just stands in the road. <laughs> as much as um, her witting allowed her to keep her like hard exterior, to still have this moment for she like, yeah, we'll just tell them we're friends, and she's like, Ugh. <laughs> you know. And then this, uh Because yeah, as much as like she can be like what she is, like very prideful, very powerful and amazing, like as much as like that friend is there, her heart is so like she can't even hide it. Like her heart is on her sleeve, even still. Alright, well then Sion, shall we head back? Like she can't hide it at all. Like as soon as it happens, she's just it just comes pouring out of her. Poor girl. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. There's the Egg Moon. My patrol with Sion ends uneventfully. Without saying why, Sion says we will patrol once more tomorrow. Tomorrow at the same time, here. Saying just that, Sion left. Until she removes this weird ether light, I have no choice but to stay with her. Well, in the first place, even if she didn't coerce me, I'd probably go patrolling with her, so it isn't like I'm doing anything different. Already, just so much. That night, the air was madding, maddeningly hot. Oh, I think this is the same. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this. If the, if I sense or see anything different, then I'll cut back in the video. But I'm pretty sure this is the same. So we'll see. Wait, no, I think this was already different. I literally just said I would cut, and on the same screen, I think this was already different. I'm just gonna read. It happened in a mountain village. In that small village that seemed frozen in time, it happened. It started with a legend. There was an old story about a woman from another town who had triplets. It was an unfortunate story, as there were two stillbirths. Certainly the baby drank the blood of its brothers, became a vampire, and brought evil to the town. What the fuck? An eternal curse. The unwritten law permeated the village without notice. In the words of this country, Tatari. Curse. In any case, the legend became real. Right, because that's how he works. The child grew up and became a vampire. Of course, fearing the curse, the villagers executed the child before that could happen. Well, this, this just happened. What the fuck? Three days later, the town was annihilated by the vampire. The dispatched knights of the church were also annihilated. I run and run and run. I run out along the mountain path. I run until dawn. But there is no way out. The curse rebounded on itself. I curse myself. I cannot escape from myself. And before my eyes, something appears black as night. Him... Ugh. Dawn is too far away. The vampire who could exist for only one night drank the town dry. The legend became real. Yeah, there you go. She talked about the legend at the beginning with the, the triplets and whatnot. The curse proved itself real by bringing complete destruction to those who brought it into being. Yeah. So crazy, that's how he works. But where this is going to end up is going to be like completely different. We can't even get to the ending we got before. So we'll have to see. Or even to the path of that branch. So I'm so curious about this. Hot. It is unnaturally hot and there is no wind. Even though I am used to the desert, I cannot bear the heat of this country. My throat is incredibly dry. Is it because I slept outside? My skin has become very dry, almost like a shell. Water. I want water. My mouth runs without thought as my mind starts to awaken. Right. At this time, of course, it would be at its worst. It is noon. Last night I parted with Shiki and slept here. I have been asleep for around eight hours. I overslept. It is stoling my mind. Rubbing my pain temples, I take a deep breath. Amazing. Even though I said intellect is our only weapon, Shiki still does not understand. In the first place, I doubt how much he listened to our conversation last night. Well, there certainly is no need for him to understand, but... To explain it, first explain it to yourself. Even if I have no more ties to Atlas, I will still be an alchemist my entire life. Thought acceleration is our magic. Fast thinking is only a prerequisite. Thought acceleration itself is applying that ability to multi-expansion diagrams. 
And furthermore, superior alchemists must have multiple sectors in their brains. If thought acceleration is proof of an alchemist, then a number of sectors is proof of their facilities. Through thought partition, a superior alchemist can cre create between three and five rooms. I gave the example of dividing one thought into rooms to Shiki, but that would be the limit of a strictly average alchemist. Superior alchemists may perform first order tetrations of their thought into rooms. These rooms are synergistic. Four thought partitions allow 256 thought processes, but that does not simply mean 256 alchemist calculations can be achieved. The 256 accelerated intelligences do not work independently, but constantly cycle towards the same goal. Right, that's what she said before. The pinnacle of alchemy is creating a miracle. That is the magic of alchemy. We are weak. Our bodies are hereditarily frail and our magic circuits are below average. That's probably my favorite part about them. That they're not, like, strong in the way, like, everyone else is. The source of alchemy as derived for, by our ancestors is different from what we practice. Seeking to avoid the final end, we created various weapons. The final end. However, the truth is, all we do now is make weapons to protect ourselves. Not for results, just to make weapons. Consequently, our academy has only one rule. Nothing is forbidden, except the release of creation secrets. Do not associate with Atlas. That was the line from the Central Association, wow. Before we knew it, we were treated as a tolerated cancer. We do nothing. We are the Magi who descend into the pit solely to create phenomenal weapons. So wow, that's all they're reduced to these days, I guess. Damn. Our exposure would be nothing less than tearing open the seal on every weapon we created and unleashing their destructive force on an unsuspecting world. I'm trying to imagine, like, what kind of level of weapons they could have. Like, you got all these super minds, alchemists working on weapons. Like, it's gotta be some crazy shit in there. I wonder if there are any examples I've seen. This ether light is an Eltonum thing, but... Sounds interesting. That is why we were given our name, the Alchemist of Atlas, the name of the giant who silently supported the heavens. A fitting name for the clueless, secluded alchemist of the Atlas Academy. It is not very surprising to feel this way. I am still young, so I still have dreams. As years pass, I will no longer be able to see them. Too real. There is still time before nightfall. Perhaps I should gather some information. Shiki is helping me reach my goal, so I should also help him find the vampires. After all, he is... You are my friend. My partner. Close enough. Furthermore, he is the same age as I. It is strange, but I was never able to envision those of the same age as I until I left. In other words, I never knew what it was to be with someone my own age. With him being the opposite gender, it makes it even farther beyond my understanding. Hmm, I've gathered enough data on Shiki. There's nothing I do not understand. Therefore, I can trust that he is helping me. The command to betray is not even present in his operating logic, so even without a contract, he could not betray me. That is why I have to match his efforts, at least just a little bit. So, yeah, I do like that we've gotten back to that. And that, dude, everything is different. Like, even in, like, Tsukihime and Stay Night, you would still get, like, repeating stuff. Well, not when you started the routes in, in uh, Stay Night. But in, um, in Tsukihime, for sure, like, especially, like, Ark and Ciel's route, like, a lot of just, like, repeat stuff, and the beginning's, like, always the same until you really diverge. I guess I've already diverged, so, you know, makes sense. I stand up as I speak this excuse. Then it occurs to me, this is not the first time I ever had to give an excuse. Hmm. Different for Sion. The question is, is how this will turn out, man. I, I, I have a bad feeling. Oh, boy. The appearance of the town has not changed. The streets are still empty. The heat radiates off them like smoke. Even though people pass me by, if I look behind me, no one is there. Only a strange emptiness. Hot. The clear sunlight melting everything white. I quickly enter a large building to draw information from the minds gathered there. My two names are Spirit Hacker and Sion Eltnum. That is why I have this monofilament, ether-like, to allow forceful intervention of the nervous system. In the nervous system. Because the intent is not to destroy the mind, you cannot call it cracking. No, that is not right. That is not even necessary. I am only gathering information about the vampire which has returned. That is something I can find quickly. Ah, this tiredness will not go away. My throat is painfully dry and my tired body creaks and groans in protest. Ah, ah. I expel the air from my lungs. It is like breathing fire. Can't breathe. 
I feel slightly dizzy. If I do not rest, if I do not sleep properly, I will be defeated. I have two or three days left. Mm. But I can still take action. If I can move, I'm still alive. I'm still injured from last night's battle, but it won't slow me down. If I return to my hastily prepared bed, it will soon be night. I'm still going through her. Vampiric time limit. Information collection ended easily enough. It does seem that most of the citizens have heard of the second coming of the vampire. But it is only thin rumor, not too different from the information that Shiki knows. All the same, no one denies the rumor. Even if the credibility is non-existent, it is a rumor accepted naturally. Everyone seems to feel something bad is going to happen. The emptiness of the town has crept into their hearts. The town will bake in the heat today, and probably tomorrow as well. The stage is set, a town under attack by fierce heat of record high temperatures, the spawning of strange paradoxes of unknown origin, terrible ideas, ill omens, visits to the temple portend bad luck. Dreadful thoughts, feelings of misfortune, ill omens, coincidence? The dark night where uneasiness fed by anxiety becomes reality. Speaking of that, it was said before that the construction site and the mansion would be favorable sites. Well, based on what Sion said, right? I think that's what Shiki thought. So I'd be very curious about a situation where he ends up at the mansion due to... Some of the trauma and fears that could possibly be awakened there, you know? Even though not when murder has occurred, everyone says it happened and the vampire has returned. And during the deep night in the empty town, a lurking shadow which wanders the streets. Soon the moon will form a perfect circle in the sweltering night, which seems itself to be in agony. Until then, I... I must guide this loose rumor into a definite shape. Guide the rumor into a definite shape. Right, because she wants Tatari to manifest for her goal, right? She wants that. It makes sense, but that is so, like, interesting. Jesus. Sion arrives according to schedule. You are right on time, Shiki. Yeah, I managed to sneak out of the mansion. Akia was acting strange and pacing back and forth in the lobby. Maybe she had found out about me leaving at night. I do not think so. According to the data I took from you, Tono Akia does not seem to be one to have such devious surveillance. <laughs> hey, that's exactly how it is. That is entirely your affair. It does not relate to me. More importantly, how are matters with the true ancestor? Man, I can't wait to see Akia and Hisui and Koaku. Where's Arihiko? Where's my boy? Uh, about that, I couldn't catch her. I left her a note in her room, so something may happen tomorrow. Because she is chasing the vampire out of worry for you, she may not come near you until everything is settled. There is a possibility we should consider. What if the rumored vampire is not the one from last year, but is the one who has been in this town since then? See on you. In the first place, the true ancestor is the strongest of the vampire race. It is stranger for her to live in a human town for a year without anything happening. That's wrong. Arcuid doesn't drink human blood. You just don't know that. Arcuid is not a vampire. You may say that, but that is what a true ancestor is. Would it not be strange for a vampire to return to this town while the true ancestor lived here? There must be a model for all these rumors. Because the thing from last time that it mentioned about like Ark being related to Tatari, because we know like at the end Tatari takes on like Ark's form. Like that is like the ultimate form for like his goal. But for her to like say that to Shiki is like knowing what she knows. A model? Isn't that the the incident from last year? That is not the model, but the origin. For this rumor to emerge, there had to have been an eyewitness. Putting aside what is true or false, does there not have to be some shadowy figure wandering the night on which to base these rumors? Siona's a little hard to understand. Whether a rumor is true or not, the model for it has to have existed. The true ancestor is probably searching for that model now. It is good, even if we just find the model. I can meet Arcuid, and you can meet the rumored vampire. I think it is very simple. I see. Not as you say it, it does make sense. Doesn't it? Then let us begin patrolling. I collected information earlier today so we can search the areas where the origin of the rumors is most likely to be. Alright. It's about to go down. Next is the alley? That's a pretty bad place to be. The alley? Okay. Not the park. It is better to say that the conditions are ripe for it to be the 
place. It is a dead space in town, so it is ideal for... Sion, what's wrong? Did something happen? The smell of blood. Oh, shit. Yeah, she would be able to pick up on that. Eh? Sion brings a hand to her face, which is clearly resisting nausea. She may think it smells very thick, but I don't feel it at all. It may be because I am somewhat desensitized to the smell. And another reason. You are simply able to distinguish between what is fake and what is real. This is the scent of artificial blood, somewhat fitting for this town. Oh, okay. Where are you going, Sion? I chase after Sion. She enters the alley. Oh my goodness. What is this about to be? Are we about to fight in the alley? What's going on here? It really does smell like blood. So this is, I guess, the first illusion we're stumbling across here. Besides the people. There's nothing different in the alley. Maybe it's because of the rumors about this place. But the image of the bloodstained alley floats in my... Right. Because it's floating in your head. There it is. Who is there? Something quick. Whatever was hiding in the shadows runs from the alley without a sound. In that instant, I see long hair fluttering in the air. It reaches far down to the back. Long, long red hair. What? Without a doubt, that is... No way, dude. No way. Shiki, follow. Yeah, got it. No shot. Shadow Town. Dude. The town is silent. Only our footsteps echo in the air as we chase it. N Nissan. Oh my god. We about to see inverted Akia. I mean, we see black hair there, but... Also, first time Akia appears in the game. Let's fucking go. Akia, what are you doing here? That, that is my line. Lights out has long since passed, so what are you doing outside of the mansion? Akia shakes visibly. Does she have something to hide? Her normal, calm, and cool manner is nowhere to be seen. What am I doing? I'm searching for the rumored vampire. I'm not doing anything bad, so that should suffice for explanation. Uh, yes, that is certainly an easily understood explanation. Alright, your turn. What are you doing out this late? I know it was a misunderstanding earlier, but what was that all about? Uh, no, I have nothing to hide, so nothing, um... Um? Akia... It's hard to explain, so I do not wish to. Akia fidgets with her fingers. I don't know if that really was her in the alley, but it is clear she is hiding something. Nah. Yeah, because this, this seems like the real Akia. But we saw red hair Akia like that. That must have been her fear. Like, she's here. So we saw her um, fear manifest, maybe? Like herself becoming like that? That would make sense. Why I was concerned about the mansion. Exactly this. Hey, if you're not suspicious, then I know something's going on. It's okay, so just say it. Shiki, we are wasting time. She does not seem inclined to tell us. And if she is possessed, she may not have any memory of it, so she may not be able to answer. Sion, what do you mean by possessed? Wait, who is that woman, Nissan? Uh-oh. Who? Well, oh no, of course. Of course, this is how the fight breaks up. As I answer, a chill runs through me. I don't know what happened to her disarray from earlier, but Akia stares at me harder than usual. Uh, Akia, she's... Yes, I understand, Nissan. Uh-oh. That face. Liar, you don't understand at all. Of course I trust you, Nissan. But what to do now? Walking around late at night with the girl? You can't complain even if you are misunderstood, can you? God damn it, Akia. But I guess we saw this coming. Like last time, like, no, you don't want to meet Akia. This is why. The lady Akia chooses a rather roundabout way of saying, I will not hear any excuses. This is pure intimidation. No, you have it wrong. There's a reason for this. Shiki. That is your sister, right? Yes, but please be quiet for a bit. I'm a little busy. That can wait until later. I wish to examine her, so please catch her. If she resists, you can use force. Whoa. Whoa. Uh-oh. But what are you saying, Sion? Akia isn't joking around, so please don't say such ridiculous things. Shiki, you know you have no right to refuse me. Yeah, I know, but I can't. Even if you fry my brain, I can't do that to her. And what Akia will do to me will be far, far worse. True. Worse than every syringe Kwaku could ever use. It cannot be helped. Well, certainly I'm going to show you how things sta stand at least once. Uh-oh. Sion twitches her finger, and then my body starts to move on its own. Wait, she's going to force Shiki to fight her? Oh my god. Fucking puppet master jutsu over here. Eh, eh? Did I not say the ether light is connected to your nerves? This is its original purpose. Ooh, a stupid stop. This, this is a breach of human rights. This is heartless. Do you enjoy doing this to others? Don't think this is over, you idiot. Wonderful. Thanks to your insults, I do not feel guilty. Thank you for your help, Shiki. Oh my god. Wah, no way, no way. Give me another chance. 
I declined. If you insult me like this again, I do not think I could be calm enough to continue. Tion's fingers move again. Totally controlled, Tonoshiki grabs his knife. God, don't make me do this. This is fucked up. It's like kind of funny, but it's fucked up. I scream, Akia. Oh my god. With her red hair swirling, she smiles fearlessly. Dude. That is anger. Unbelievable anger. It is a great offense to the Lady Akia for me to not refuse Sion's order to capture her. Oh, I do not quite know all the details, but... Oh, please, just let me explain everything. Dude, all of this off of misunderstanding, I cannot. It seems you are in dire need of a rough awakening, Nisa. Akia cracks her knuckles. This, this isn't an awakening, it's a punishment! This is truly Shiki's mad at. Dude, look at this. Oh my god. I might not have a choice if I win if I win or lose this fight or not. Dude, fighting in the town like this? Oh, it's cool. Yeah, I'll try. Oh my god, poor Akia. Ooh, the flames? Oh my god. Yo, she EX grabbed me? What EX move is that? Dude, what the fuck? Can I tech that? That was so much damage. That wasn't even a super. Look at her magic circuit. That was just an EX move. Is her circuit still full? Like, it still uses. Because I, I saw that in practice mode. Dude. Punish that. Oh god. I've already forgotten everything I practiced. That's how that works. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? I didn't even use any magic circuit meter. What the fuck is that? Dude, she is OP. Also, I like her voice. OG Melty Blood voices. I like it. I'm just gonna spam blows, man. Duh. Oh, the air. Dude, she's so good. The air hits? God. She punishes. Punishes my. Um, I don't know frames, like, some of the shit I'm doing has to be, like, minus on block. Oh my god. Dude, thank god I blocked that. Oh, holding back does block. What the fuck? Why did I think that didn't work? Because I, I, I feel like I tried it and it didn't work. Oh, that changes everything. We're Tekken mode now. Why the fuck did I think only... So yeah, um... Uh, excuse me? So yeah, this is just straight parry. But you can just straight hold back. Okay. That okay, that actually changes a lot. I literally did not know that until now. Oh my god. That's so funny. The learning process. I'll look back on this fondly when I become Maybe good? At, oh god. Oh god. That's so strong. Why is that so strong? Why is she so good? I, I love it. It's so cool, but. Oh my god. Damn it, I tried to do my super. What is that move? It's a over 30 hit move. Can I tech that? Do you just have to eat that? Is it just slow? Do I have to dodge it? Like... I didn't even have a choice. <laughs> Fuck, man. That was so good. That is such a good move. Why is Akia so strong? Why does she have that? Like, it's so cool. The moon looks like a octagon for some reason. But what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh my goodness.